guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a really exciting video of one of my absolute favorite tropes, and that is overprotective and a little bit obsessive heroes, and I love this kind of hero. I just love a hero who is just adamantly in love and obsessed with this heroine and will go to the ends of the earth to save her and help her and protect her. And some of these range from like he will just do the sweetest things and go out of his way for her to like he is touch her and you die vibes. And so before we get into this video, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Sundance Now. If you're like me, you like your heroes a little bit protective and obsessive. Give me a man who will literally go to the ends of the earth for his woman. Yes. And I'm partnering with Sundance Now to bring you the MVP character of the week for a discussion discovery of witches. Are we surprised that I'm going with Matthew? Brooding vampire who falls irrevocably in love with Diana and will literally travel through time to protect her. I'm not surprised I chose him either. I am currently in the middle of binging season two of A Discovery of Witches and Matthew is everything I want in a fictional man. Not only is he played by the gorgeous Matthew Good, he is also a character who has a dark and damaged past that he's forced to confront. He is a dangerous vampire who knows he's no good for Diana, but he can't stay away from her anyways. But he's also so caring and just wants the best for Diana. I am so excited to finish season two and finally get to the last season in order to see what is in store for Matthew and Diana. If you want to binge watch the show before the finale of season three airs, make sure you check out my link in the description box down below and use my code PLB30 for a 30-day free trial to Sundance Now. Get lost in the world of brooding vampires, time travel, and an epic romance. After you have fallen in love with Matthew in that show, here are some books you should read that have additional overprotective and obsessive heroes. We're going to start off a little tame. So I have All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. I feel like Rhodes isn't obsessive, but he is so overprotective of our heroine. So Aurora ends up wanting to go to this town where she grew up with her mother. Her mother actually went missing there on a hike and was never found. And so Aurora is back in town after getting out of a very long term relationship. And she rents out the like garage of someone. And little does she know it was the son of the man who owns the house. He has no idea his son is renting this out. And so it doesn't start off on the right foot. But Rhodes and Aurora have a a kind of like grumpy friendship. Rhodes is very grumpy, I will say that. And what happens is they start falling for each other just slowly and he is very protective of her where he sees her putting herself in danger. He literally will drop everything and go be there for her. And I was obsessed with this character. Like there's even one scene I'm specifically thinking of in my mind where he goes like two hours out of his way to make sure she's okay and I'm just like oh. I love it. That That is amazing. I love it when a hero does that. He is so protective of her. His Christmas gift for her was just so sweet and he's just such a sweet hero. I'm obsessed. Then another recent read of mine is Splendid by Julia Quinn. In this one, it's a historical romance and he's definitely very overprotective, especially at the end because we have a little romantic suspense thrown in. And so our hero and our heroine meet when she is dressed up as a maid. And so he thinks she's a maid. She saves the life of his nephew. And so he's like, cannot stop thinking about her realizes she is not a maid and she is actually an American heiress and she is staying with her cousin and he sees her and he will attend every single ball she's at. He hates society. He hates going to balls and he will attend every ball that season just to see her. And then something dangerous happens near the end with romantic suspense thrown in for probably the last 100 pages. And he was like, I need to protect my woman. And I love that about his character. He was just so obsessed with her too. Like he could not stop thinking about her, to stop wanting to be around her, and I just loved his character so, so much. I mean, he did threaten to, like, ravish her a lot, and he didn't care if he, like, ruined her reputation, and I mean, like, she didn't really care either, but I just love his character so much. Then, more with the, like, survival overprotectedness, I have A Wilderness Within by Emma Castle. This one is actually a post- uh, pandemic romance and this is a pandemic that wipes out like 80% of the population and so our heroine and our hero meet each other and our hero is actually former I think Secret Service he worked for the military and knew the president and the vice president so we have that going on and they have to survive together and our hero really I feel like falls fast first and he is, does everything he can to protect her and make sure she's okay and it has that kind of survival instinct in here as well. So if you want more of a survival overprotectiveness, I would recommend checking out this book. Then I feel like I always choose historicals where there's a scene where like their lives are on the line and so I had The Princess and the Rogue by Kate Bateman. This one, our hero actually works I believe for Bow Street. Yeah, he's a Bow Street agent and he 
figures out that there's this a traitor from the Russians and our heroine's a Russian princess and she's on the run because she figures out who the traitor is and they know who she is and so she's on the run from him and takes a new name and she's actually working for our heroes I believe it's his aunt and that person comes back in town and she's afraid that she's gonna get found out and so he ends up having to protect her and it's so good he doesn't know if he can trust her or not and his aunt's kind of meddling trying to push them together and it's just such a good romance I absolutely love this romance so much highly recommend anything from Kate Bateman she does have a lot of pretty overprotective heroes but this one especially I have two by this next author because I feel like she does this obsessive hero so well. And the first one's Lola and the Millionaires by Catherine Moon. This one's a reverse harem, so we do have a couple of love interests for our heroine Lola. And Lola was actually in a really bad situation in the past in a relationship, and she was taken advantage of, and she has a lot of reservations about dating people. And this is an Omegaverse novel. It was my first one, though, so I feel like it was a good intro to Omegaverse books. And in this one, she meets a guy at a club and is kind of freaked out when she figures out who he is so she like runs away but she runs into him again and he's the first one she started, sort of has this bond with and starts having a romance with and then she slowly starts getting to know the people in his pack and liking them too and they are all so protective over her and her comfort and making sure she's okay there was a point at the end where something dangerous kind of happens and they all literally drop everything and run to be with her and I feel like a lot of reverse harems do this because I have two other reverse harems on this list that where the heroes are just so obsessive and will literally do anything to protect their heroine and so this one is a very slow burn I feel like with all of the guys slowly adding them to her relationship but I really enjoyed this. Then I have Find Me, which is a, another reverse harem. Our heroine's on the run from a stalker who ended up murdering her family, and so she's living, I believe, with her uncle, who was actually, like, going out to find the stalker so she's really living alone and she gets close to the neighbors next door who are brothers who I believe also live alone. I don't think their parents are around anymore but they are just always there for her, will be there for her at the drop of a hat and she at first like wants to stay alone because she's supposed to be hiding and she just got through a really traumatic experience but they are so understanding and just want to help her and be there for her and it is just so sweet so I'd recommend checking this one out as well. One that's not as like life or death but it's kind of like all roads lead here where the hero will literally drop everything for her and that is Grip by Kennedy Ryan. I feel like Grip is so so just in love with Bristol and I love his character so much so this one is a second chance romance. They had a thing kind of in the past and then she hears something about him and is like mm, no but she is actually a like music agent kind of person and he is a musician uh, and he is actually really close friends with her brother and they reconnect and it's their romance and he is just like there's literally no other girl in the world for me but you and he is so in love with her and because he's so in love with her that's where that overprotective nature comes in and I really love that about this book. There is someone who is threatening her happiness and he gets so overprotective of her which I really love about his character. So if you want a hero, I feel like all of these though are just like all in in their romance and they're like like I said obsessed with the heroine because they are so in love with her and I love how this is a there's no one in the world for me but you romance so this one is just an epic romance I love it then I thought I included this one I've done this video before so I'll link that down below I thought I included this one the last time I did this video but I guess that I didn't it is crow by a Zavarelli. this book you guys this book is literally he will kill you if you touch his woman so in this one our heroine her best friend goes missing and she knows she was involved with the mafia so she decides to infiltrate the mafia and get a job at the club club I think where her friend was last working and she meets Crow wants to get closer to him and I love what I love about her though is that she can really hold her own like she enters a fight with a guy and just destroys him she is so strong and so kick butt and I love that about her character but then of course she kind of falls for Crow and then gets into some sticky dangerous situations and Crow is like you touch my woman you die and I feel like that's such a common trope with mafia romances so I really 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 love this book so much and it definitely has the overprotective hero and I have to read the next ones I promise I'm reading Reaper this month and it's gonna be amazing then I have one that's not as like literal again and that is Love Unexpected by QB Tyler and this one is because our heroine it's a stepfather romance 
I know it's a bit taboo, but she is 18 now and she's never seen him as a father. They really clash and her mother passes away. So it's them really grieving together, but her birth father comes in the picture wanting to get to know her more and our hero is very protective of her and not wanting her to be taken advantage of by her birth father and how he won't be there for her when he says he will. Our hero just does not want to see her get hurt and he's like, I cannot have this relationship like this is so not okay but they really grow really close because of their grief that they share together and they find this bond between them that they just can't stop thinking about or avoid this was such a good book I love QB Tyler so much and I feel like our hero was definitely very protective over our heroine because of how emotionally fragile she was after losing her mom and then having her dad come in back in her life so I I loved this and it wasn't as like taboo as it sounds because I feel like they didn't have that kind of relationship and it, it felt okay. I don't know. It worked for me and I loved it. I have is A Lady of Rooksgrave Manor, which is another reverse harem by Catherine Moon, but this one has the most smitten heroes you will ever read. And then at the end, when some romantic suspense happens, they will like break down walls and buildings to find her. And so she has just a group of men who are literally obsessed with her. And I love their dynamics because they all respected each other so much and all just wanted the best for her. And so she actually gets this job at Rooksgrave Manor where it is like a house for women who see monsters and so if you like a good monster romance this just is so good this is like one of the first reverse harems that I became absolutely obsessed with and monster romances I feel like we have an invisible man we have a, a sphinx maybe I don't remember all of them off the top of my head now we have like a stone man and a vampire and we just have a lot of different characters in this book and they are so good and she is so sweet to all of them but they all are obsessed with making her happy and making sure she's okay and there is a villain in here and they are not only overprotective of her but they are also protective of each other and so something else happens to one of them and they try to find him and save him as well so I love the dynamics of this romance so much and I cannot shout about it enough so if you have not read it yet please do. And then the last one I have is also one where the hero just really wants the best for his heroine and he is definitely overprotective of her and will literally sacrifice his own happiness for her and that's Business Casual by Danielle Allen. I recently read this for a reading vlog I'm doing that's going to come out right before this video does and this one our hero and our heroine meet when our heroine gets a interview opportunity with the business. She's a freelance social media marketer and she ends up seeing him and they instantly connect and he's like you're gorgeous. This is an amazing connection. Let me take you to dinner and so she agrees. She gets to her floor for an interview and he is one of the owners of the company. And there is a huge non-fraternization clause that, that nobody can date in the company or else you're immediately fired. They try to stay away from each other but can't and in order to make it work, the things that he does for her at the end, I'm just like, you're just amazing. He absolutely would give up his own happiness and everything he worked for for her and I feel like that's amazing as an overprotective hero in that sense where he will literally like give his own happiness for the heroine. So that's what this one was about. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend checking this out. Such a good office romance that's forbidden. Definitely steamy as well. I love Daniel Allen. I'm so excited that I read more from her. You have to read this. And that's all I have. Let me know if you have any other overprotective hero romance recommendations. Again, thank you so much to Sundance Now for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out Sundance Now in the link down below and use my code PLB30 to get a 30 day free trial from Sundance Now in order to binge watch A Discovery of Witches before the series finale airs. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.